Welcome, everybody. Thanks for the time. Uh, Justin, John, Liz, thank you again for putting on a, a wonderful show uh, here. We at Black Arrow, and I'll talk, I'll talk, I should say we, I'll change that a little bit later, uh, have been a sponsor of this event for probably five years. So I think I can say this with some credibility. There needs to be a new sponsorship. K tables for lunch. I've done a poll. We need a tables for lunch to sit down. But uh, anyway, uh, in all seriousness, thank you guys for everybody. Um, this is, where's my clicker? Here it is. All right. So I'm going to give you, um, spend a few minutes talking about our view uh, of what the path to addressability means. I think a lot of the speakers earlier this morning touched on some of the same points that I will, I will highlight in my conversation. But um, what's interesting is a year ago, I stood up here in front of you guys talking about Black Arrow. And we were announcing our partnership with Virgin Media. And we were excited about it. It was about launching video on demand. And I'll talk to you about the success of that partnership a little bit later. But a lot has changed, I think, not just for us, for me, for Black Arrow in the past year, but also for you. Everyone in the media industry is going through a transformation in the last 12 months, if not more. Whether it's major acquisitions happening in the United States, Direct and AT&T, Time Warner and Charter, Altice Cablevision, or what Liberty Global's doing here with ITV, all three media, the media industry is changing. Uh, we saw a slide earlier about acquisitions of ad technology by some of the major uh, pay TV providers. There's no doubt next year there will be a whole slew of new changes to the marketplace. But one thing in particular that happened for Black Arrow that we're excited to talk about is that about two months ago we were acquired by a company called Caden Network. Caden Network is a privately held company based in the United States. And most important is they are the largest aggregator of unsold television industry in the U.S. We aggregate unsold, we work with all of our MVPD partners, over 200 of them, and they are partners uh, in this effort. We work with those partners to aggregate some of their unsold inventory in the local two minutes. This is traditional television inventory. We distribute that content on behalf, on those ads, sell to over 300 brands and agencies across 100 million households and 3,600 zones. Why that's important is because when you think of TV and the path to addressability. And it's interesting, I've stood up here many times before always talking about Black Arrow and on demand and nonlinear and the movement towards time shifting. What Cadent brings to Black Arrow and what is brought to me and to, my, to the entire Black Arrow team, which is converging or integrating with Cadent, is perspective. Perspective that television today is not going away. We know that. But it's not just not going away, it's actually, unbeknownst to me in the beginning, it's very sophisticated. Today, television is bought and sold like audience. Cadent is an audience network. We aggregate that inventory on behalf of brands to reach a national audience. They use us as a reach extension for audiences. So when uh, Allstate has a national campaign and they need to reach its additional target, their, their additional target audience, they work with Cadent. Well, that's linear television today. And you can see from a technology perspective, Cadent brings an, uh, obviously linear tech, and data technology solutions. Excuse me. Black Arrow, I stood up here before. We are the leader. Uh, we are the largest, uh, excuse me, the largest provider of data and technology solutions for uh, um, nonlinear inventory for the pay TV industry. We started in VOD. We've moved quickly to network DVR. We do OTT, EPG. What most people don't realize, though, is that we actually deliver advertising content on behalf of our pay TV providers in live television, too. We act, but we do it on devices, all IP devices. Our friends at Time Warner have been working with Black Arrow to deliver targeted advertising within a live stream for the past 12 months. We support over 100 channels. But with Cadent and with what Black Arrow is doing, where we're going, it's pretty simple. As you can see, we're bringing the two companies together, bringing the two technologies together to provide what we consider the only provider of integrated technology services for linear television, all nonlinear, and a natural extension to that is where we are going in 2016 is addressable linear. Three things that are important. If you're a brand or an advertiser, and we talked about this today, you need to read the path to addressability is not just linear addressable. It's not VOD addressable, what we've been doing for the past two years with our partners at Comcast, and it's not just digital. It is a unified view across all platforms so you can actually look at reach and frequency in ways that you can make sure that you don't duplicate audiences, that you can provide guaranteed delivery. And that is what 
the combination of Black Air and Cadent brings is bringing technology and services to our MVPD partners in ways that is moving the ecosystem. One thing that's important, we don't do this alone. We do this with many, many other technology providers, but at the end of the day, excuse me, today we work with all of our MVPD partners. We touch 162 million devices. We, say we handle over 5 billion video ad requests a month on the nonlinear side, and 1.2 million uh, unique spots delivered per day on the national footprint. We have, we have uh, global reach, <coughs> global reach and global deployments. And I think the other thing that's important that we're excited about, Caden, is to, combined we have over 300 people. 150 are now technology engineers. So when we talk about change for Black Arrow and what's happened in the last 12 months in terms of where we're going, it was that chart of those convergence between linear and nonlinear coming together to support all of our supply side partners. So what have we learned, though, in the marketplace about all of our deployments over the last few years? One thing, I, this is a slide I think uh, we were joking about who we should put up here to talk about the, the, the common themes, and of course we put up some of our friends, but the two things that we walk away from is the first one from Paul is ABC, dynamic ad insertion is a must, which we've been preaching about, and addressability is the second. I think one thing from a VOD perspective we've seen over the last year, we've seen a 35% increase across 40 million homes, and these are deployed, actively deployed, 40 million homes, a 35 increase in ad requests. What's probably more powerful and more transparent in terms of the movement that we're seeing in the US is this slide. 140% increase in ad impressions. So I've stood up here many times before talking about it's, we've deployed technology for dynamic ad insertion. You can reach household audiences. Last year was a major, this year alone was a major tipping point for the industry. Because if you saw that from the last slide, it was a 35% increase in ad requests but 140% increase in ad impressions. So what that's telling you is the industry, the advertising industry domestically and globally is taking off. They're starting to understand the importance of reaching a household, reaching a consumer in a time-shifted paradigm outside of just, <clears throat> in a time-shifted paradigm, excuse me. I mentioned, Liberty, I mentioned Virgin Media, our partnership a year ago. We announced it, launched it in February of 2015. Within three months, we saw an increase of 17% in terms of ad requests, 29% month over month increase in actual ad requests throughout this year. So the audience is there, the demand is there. So when you think of the slide that I showed you with linear and nonlinear, the challenge the industry has, we all know that, is you can talk about linear addressable, we can talk about television advertising. The challenge is how do you find those hard to reach consumers across those multiple platforms? And we're excited to be working with many of our partners like Virgin Media and actually not just increasing their VOD capabilities, but moving into IP VOD and ultimately addressable. And today I'll stand before you. We're excited to announce that we'll be moving into Ireland, another part of the Liberty Global uh, portfolio. We're looking at launching in, Q in 2015. Uh, we'll be bringing some household some capabilities in the first half of 2016 around addressable and then multi-platform in 2000 at the, end of the, at the end of this year. So the market is happening clearly. It's taking off in the US. It's certainly happening in, um, in London and in Ireland now. It's being driven by data, audience, and analytics capabilities. And when I think of where we're going and what's important for the marketplace, certainly Black Arrow and Cadent, we, we talk about three things. All screens, any platform, every audience. That's the path to addressability. Because if you don't have that in mind, you're not going to actually provide a holistic experience for your brand, or more importantly, for your consumers and for your customers. So with that, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Nick. Um, again, if we have any questions for Nick, please, um, let's uh, ask them to him now while we have the opportunity that he's here. Um, anybody with any questions? Um, I think there's one way in the back. OK. Um, oh, good, all right, thank you. You've covered oh, it all. She's thank got one, does oh. she have a question? Or no? Oh, yep, actually we do have a question. Uh, well, I'll ask just the I can hear you. Time. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you, yeah, great. great. Okay, um, what's the difference in terms of what you're servicing here in Europe versus in the US? Because you've got a very different type of television ad market in the United States versus the US so, here. Um, I think they're evolving, but I, uh, the technology is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. 
So the same capabilities we've done in the US, dynamic ad insertion across all platforms, is exactly the same that we've deployed at Virgin Media. Um, so the, I, clearly the difference in the biggest difference that we see is there's no local two minutes, there's no inventory share. So we do have, we work very closely with a lot of the ad sales groups of the MVPDs in the US for monetization. But um, here in London and in other places, what that means though is we're working very closely on behalf of Virgin to work with their content partners. So one of the key things that, about Black Arrow and Caden is we're very standards compliant. We work with, we support third party ad servers. So every platform from VOD to network DVR to IPTV to OTT and even to our addressable linear solution they're all gonna have the same common infrastructure, same network-based capabilities, same audience-based reporting, and the same ability to work with third-party ad servers, which is important because we're building an ecosystem and we're not a monolithic application. I think that's a, a key differentiator for what we've always done with Black Arrow, and that's important because as you look at multi-platform and you have more agencies moving to programmatic, we have to work with all the ad servers, all the agency trading desks, all the programmatic players and all the DSPs. The good thing is, is we've actually done most of all of those integrations, and now I think what we're waiting for is the business models to evolve. Okay, Great. thank you. Any other questions out there before we let Nick go? Before I fall. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> nope. Thanks. With everybody. that, let's give Nick a big hand. Thank you very much. <laughs>